everyone. Um, back again today. Um, you may have noticed the other day I did, created a journal page with some collage and I was using uh, some of the images from this book. Now I have really gotten into my collage at the moment, especially within my art journaling. Although to be fair, these would look fabulous in scrapbooking, on canvases for mixed media, in all sorts, on cards, on ATCs, because there's such a range. Now this, the book that I was using, I did um, link it in, to, in my description below, but I thought I'd spend a little bit more time having a little look at it today before I make another journal page using some of the images. Um, these, this is one of a series of books that has been self-published by um, Marta, who from Marami's Small Art. She has a YouTube channel here on the on YouTube, <laughs> funnily enough, and I will link her channel in the um, description box below. But she is known for using lots of ephemera and collage images within her own creativity. She's been around for, for a fair while and she decided to create her own collage books. Now, as you may have seen, I have previously used um, other collage books, which I do love as well. I love these collage soup books also um, published um, on Amazon and I have the Shrooms and Blooms and the Bird Nerd and I'm sure I will be adding more to my collection but if you they all the books I feel and all the collage sort of suits different um, styles I am quite an eclectic um, crafter I always feel I, I don't overly stick to one particular medium I don't overly stick to one particular style which I don't know if that's for or against me on YouTube, but it's how I am and I and that's what I enjoy. So that is what I, I will continue to do. One of the things I do love, though, is I do love the steampunk industrial look, as you will have seen if you've seen it, um, any of my videos, because I do often include, um, especially from Asha Marquette, I hope I'm saying your name right, Asha. I apologise if I'm not. Um, Lemon Creation. She produces some really lovely industrial, grungy style stamps that I enjoy using. And I think they would go well with this. And I may actually, in my um, time lapse um, part of this video, use some of those. But I thought I'd have a little quick look. Now, I don't feel bad looking for this because I know that Marta herself shows all through her books on her own channel. So I am not letting you into... Um, any um, letting you into any secrets or anything like that she does show and I know other people do show but I thought it would be interesting if it's something then you see and you think oh yeah that's my kind of thing that you you know what you get in the books and this is little personas it's industrial collage ephemera for art journaling but like I say it doesn't have to be art and I think the covers I have to say if I, I wish you could feel <laughs> because the cover is I can't even explain how it feels. It's like got a sort of a velvety quality. Now these, she has made this to be particularly matte. She doesn't like a shiny or satin finish. And I, I sort of agree. I tend to, I tend to use a matte medium if I'm collaging um, so that I don't have that shininess or I, I cover in transparent just so, so that I can work on top of images. But I like that matte finish so all the pages are matte and she has said if you do receive a book from Amazon and it has glossy pages to get in contact with them against me because it shouldn't be that way so I'm, I'm not going to spend ages over each page because if you want to see every page in more detail you can go to her channel she purposefully only prints the main images on one side but you do get on the back of every page this beautiful um, muted uh, background and that is another thing to say they are very muted colors so if you're looking for something um, very very bright and rainbow-esque this probably isn't the sort of style you look for but for me I absolutely adore these and she has a range of books she has some where you get these beautiful but no, there's a ledger page I mean if you've seen any videos on my channel you know I enjoy the ledger journals from Diane Reevely I love ledger I love um, graph paper, I love text, I love all those things that are being put into the background of these images and um, she goes with different colourways but again they are all fairly muted, she has some which are ideal for just cutting, fussy cutting out one particular image or you can use the whole um, thing for a background, but absolutely stunning. So she's gone for a steampunk 
vibe but it's not an uh, overly grungy hard I have to say that is the one I think I might use today but I'm, then again I'm not sure um it's not a hard grungy sort of steampunk it's a very soft muted sort of that's where I use my page in, the other, in my other video but I think that it is absolutely stunning. Now, I have ordered another one of her books. Um, and I thought that I would do again do a video. If you think it, this is helpful to have a look through these, these um, books to see what images are in there. I mean, I would just sit. Totally honestly. And also the same with my other collage book. I could just sit and just look through the pages every day and not ever use them. But I do, I'm a true believer in love these ones. This background, um, that you use what you have because otherwise it's you know, unless you really just want to look at the books every day that you, you know you can do but oh, flowers um and that you get this fabulous bonus page with some other images and then information about where you can find she does have a group um on facebook as well um she has her own Maramie's small art which is her herself but she does have a group I will have to link it in the description because I cannot remember off the top of my head what it's called that you can go and join. Um, so that is the book. And even the back cover is just as stunning. So it is a really, they're stunning books. I, I, these and the collage soup, I just, I, I love the fact they're in a book form. Some people might not like that, but I, I like the fact that I'm keeping it together. So when I cut my pages, last my images out, what I try to do is cut them so the rest of the page is staying out. I, with my other books, I do have a tendency, if I know I'm going to use all the page or most of it, I do t tear the whole page out. But if I know I'm only wanting elements, I cut it so that the rest of the page stays within the book. Then you don't end up you know, with lots of little bits and pieces. So I think you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, these are absolutely gorgeous and it's lovely to support a smaller um creator in terms of the crafting industry not in terms of youtube but in terms of you know craft products somebody who is just sort of, sort of getting really established and i just think they're absolutely beautiful so i hope you like had a like looking through please let me know in the comments if that's something that you um do like to see um and then if you do then i will when I get my next um, one of her books, I will have a little flick through of that as well. Because again, I know that she does do that on her own channel and other channels do do it as well. So I'm not like letting out anything I shouldn't be letting out. Um, so please stick around and I will be making a journal page on time lapse. Oh, I'll quickly show you. So this is my Secura um, Talons book. What I have done is I got this in the uh, TK Maxx and it was only 4 99 and I know they normally cost uh, more than that. So TK Maxx, I guess it's end of line or ones that they can't get rid of. I'm going to guess it was because of the colour. I think the colour's beautiful, but you know, I'm going to guess some people do. So, and what I did was I have stuck lots of pages together. Now, this is the um, spread I did that I will link this video at the end of um, this video at the end of this video, if that makes any sense. But I've stuck a few pages together each time to give myself a bit of a thicker um page because it's really a sketchbook and i want i added loads of water and stuff to this page and so i don't want to it to buckle too much but i thought i might keep this one as a very much for these sort of images because i love the size I, I might still use them within well i probably will use them within some of my other journals but i thought i'd keep this as a little sort of uh, marami small art collage book um, journal but just thought that was interesting so you don't have to always buy something you know an expensive journal this was a 4.99 sketchbook you can use you know old um other sorts of notebooks you have you can use old books you know and things like that um it's up to you you don't have to buy something expensive to do um your art journaling in so i'll see you soon and um i hope you enjoyed the video bye
Thank you.